Hi, <clears throat> welcome to Warblog. Today I fancy playing this game. Um, I'm not sure how far through I'll be able to get into it, but um, it's the sort of revamped version of the Palmyra scenario. Um, I've done this because I think it's going to be. It's, well, I think it, I don't think it's an important battle. I think because of the ruins, it's one of these battles that people are going to sort of refer to again and again. Um, it's on a sort of slightly extended map. I didn't actually need to do an extended map, but um, it doesn't hurt too much. Um, I think essentially, again, it, it's, it's another sort of scenario designed to essentially just keep a sort of an oversight of actually what's happening now. I've tried to keep it as historically accurate as possible with. Well, we've have not gone into excessive depth, um, but the reinforcements are not um, sort of accurate. They basically get all their units. What actually happened when you read the, the Wikipedia link is that um, after a few days or weeks, both sides actually got reinforcements at certain stages. But I'm just putting all, all units on. Uh, Wikipedia says, says that the Isil side had about 2,000 troops. And the um, Syrian army had about 6,000. So that's only 3 to 1. Um, and I've sort of reflected that. I'm not sure how easy this is going to be, but I'm sort of going to try and. I'm probably going to do this as a 15 minute one. I feel like playing, but not forever. I, think I, I feel like playing, but I don't feel like waiting an hour between each 15 minute play, waiting for the video to upload. Anyway, and then mixing them up, I'll have to get this extended fifteen dollar record for one fifteen minute thing, but I'm too tight for that, so anyway. The Palmyra scenario, so essentially we got Isil here, and I think essentially one of the reasons I think this took a long time and I think the, the Syrian army is taking a long time to recapture everything, and I'm really, I think what they're not saying to some extent is that they don't want to damage all their infrastructure so they're doing it very slowly I mean they're not just bombing the hell out of Palmyra because they don't want to destroy every time a bomb lands you know a water main bursts an electric junction boxes out you know it damages the infrastructure way beyond what they can sort of necessarily repair I would have almost imagined I mean thinking about it I don't want to start an accusation but I would almost imagine that they, they're more concerned about not damaging the the, the infrastructure, the buildings, the town, the roads, bridges, and all that, and they are the, the actual people because the people are generally the enemy. Um, and I think that's possibly why they might be going a little slower. I don't know. Although, to be quite honest, when you put these big bombers in, obviously they're not really. But I was just reading something else that was referring to something that took place in 1962 in London. Basically, it was just a little something completely irrelevant but it referred to an old bomb site and that was in 1962 so that was probably 42 that was probably 20 years later this place in London was still a bomb site and essentially the same thing's going to pretty much happen I mean Syria is just going to be one huge bomb site in 20 years time and so there is an in I think they've got to have some kind of interest in not blowing everything up if that means just sitting there at long range with super sniper rifles, you know, just taking these people out, you know, precision air targets when they're on the roads in places that are not going to necessarily cause that much collateral damage to buildings and things, you know, I think they are, and I think that might be why they're going a little slower. Because, you know, so why don't they just get loads of tanks? You know, I mean, surely they're, they're a nation, they can. They can afford massive numbers of tanks. And to be quite honest, well, another thing that sort of puzzles me is why don't they just bring everyone? You know, I love that term, everyone. I mean, why have they only got 6,000 troops and why do they need reinforcements? You, you know, they're on the roll now. Why don't they just bring everyone, you know, 20,000 troops and do it in a day? Um, I don't know. I mean, 
I was looking at the casualty levels and I think the, the ISIS, the ISIL player lost quite a lot. Uh, oh, I can't remember now, I can't be bothered to refer to it, but it's, it's n far more than the, um, the Syrian army. But the Syrian army, I think, still lost about 200 or 400 people, and the ISIL play people lost about, I think they lost about, they lost a lot more. The numbers don't add up. I think I think the Syrian army lost about 200, and the, the Israel lost about 600. And um, but that's still 200 Syri Syrian military men dead. I haven't played a move yet. I hate talking. But you know, it, it does strike me that you know, I mean, obviously it's serious, but that's still quite high. I mean, you would have. I don't know. I, I just get the feeling that well, you've got tanks, artillery, aircraft. You know, you should be able to do it without killing anyone. But the thing is, because it's towns and cities and it's it's asynchronous, which means I think um, a larger force going against a much smaller irregular force, um, there's just no way of getting them out of these buildings without getting into close combat, which means, um, you know, house to house fighting. And I think one of the things that... um. One of the things that I did move something at least. One one of the things that I did think about was what I could do for all that house to house stuff. It, it's just I, I don't know. I mean, it probably wouldn't be as simple as it sounds. But just create loads of robots. You know, like these little track robots that go around with machine guns on them. I think the, the ISIS people will probably steal them or something. But there's got to be ways of you, you, you know, confronting with this. Anyway, I'll get on with the game. So essentially, what I'm going to try and do is do it really slowly. <laughs> I'm succeeding at it painfully right from the start because we haven't done nothing in seven minutes. But what I mean slowly, I mean, I think they're advanced, you know, we're going to sort of one unit at a time and force them back into here. Now, this is all fortified. So if you actually look at this, now this is, this here is the Jabal, oh, this is that big sort of mountain fortress. But this is Palmyra and I've divided it into Palmyra, Palmyra north, west and east. The airport is over here. So these are all objectives. Uh, I'm not sure whether the objectives are a bit too messy, but um, so essentially the objective is to sort of take all this with as, limited, with as minimal casualties as possible really. Now we've got leaders in play. Uh, Isil has two leaders. Um, Sultan bin Abdel Rahman and someone else in here, um, Khalil Mohammed. Um, both these people died in this battle, I, I believe. Um, they both have three defense, so it means they add 30% to any units that they're defending with within their radius, which is two X's. One, two, so it'd be all of these units. Um, their command is not as good. Um, but what I'm sort of trying to do is to keep things in command. Now there's there's two command elements. Uh, so there's um, Major General Suhel Al Hassan, and basically he is in command of the Syrian Armored Division, which is in this stack. The other guy is in charge of everything else. So. And I haven't really thought of this, but basically I'm going to try and play by command. So I'm going to take one command element in one direction and the other in another. Now I think that because this... Hmm, so I'd like to take the armoured stuff over this way. Or not. Well let me just move everything forward. And they have quite a lot of movement, so let me just move the armoured elements. So there's quite a lot in this stack, so he's got six movement. One. I think first of all, we've got to go for these objectives. Four. Oh. 
and I think that's probably going to be okay. It puts me into the zone of control, but I really don't think this is a unit is going to be attacking at 1 to 6 odds against armor, 1 to 12 odds. This is the thing that I've been trying to sort of develop with this game, the ability to sort of use, use its units strategically like this. Now, this does not mean, I have said this time and time again, but I'll just repeat it anyway, just in case you've not watched any of the other videos. This does not mean they're sort of eye to eye. There could be a three mile, four, four mile gap between where these units are deployed. You know, these are up in the hills, three or four miles away. The tank um, brigade, the 167th Armoured Brigade, is sat up in this hex. Now, some of the rules for artillery, uh, armoured indirect fire, the rules aren't in place at the moment. I, I'm, I basically have almost stopped on the development side just because of pressures elsewhere, but it will be done eventually, but not anytime soon. But, so essentially, he can't just fire into there, but he can fire it, sort of, he can engage into that at pretty good odds. We can't fire like artillery can, but anyway, we have some artillery, so not as. So I'm going to keep these people there. The mechanized unit. There's the artillery. Now I'm only going to move the artillery two spaces because that gives that means he hasn't stopped moving and he can fire. So here what we have we have here the basically the uh, the the 18th Armored Division. Elements of the 18th Armoured Division in command. One, two. Now I'm going to move this command element. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to leave them there because that, that puts all these people into command. Um, which is sort of what I'm trying to sort of maybe express. It's sort of using the units as, as groups and moving, you know, strategically in, in commands to sort of you know, do things as opposed to just. I've been watching, I keep watching all these YouTube videos, and time and time again, you just see them, they just like, oh, just slapping units, everything they got, just slapping them against the enemy, and, you know, there doesn't seem to be a lot of thought in what a lot of people do with these modern fangled computer strategic games. I know when you're playing the whole Western Front, you don't want to look at it too, in too much detail, but I don't know, I, I just think, you know, this would be a newsworthy item. Syrian army engage. Issue troops uh, south of Hill 800 um, tension mounts. I mean, nothing's happened yet, but this is what we're doing here. And so we've got this sort of line already, um, and we know pretty much that this unit's not going to really cause us much, too much tra tr trouble. I mean, he's he's motorized, so he could, in theory, could come around here and do all sorts of things. But anyway, I'm going to sort of try and start moving the other unit. Let's just see. And what I want to do <laughs> the um, oh God, I'll have to sort that out. The, the command units don't appear to be able to go into desert. Um, yeah, so I'll have to sort that out, and the video is going to go off in a bit, and I'll probably do another one. Um, seeing I've got nowhere in this one so far. Now, I just want to sort of special forces. Okay, well. Gonna pause on that, I think. We've got a lot in there to build up, and um, be back in a bit. Okay, going back. Um, 
I'm trying to be able to play a bit faster. Essentially, I'm as Sam trying to split both commands up. I'm, I'm trying to play how I feel it was done by moving step by step, taking particular objectives. Now, this will be an objective because it's a military unit, but it's not a red one like these, which are sort of identifiable places that were taken sort of in, in the process. This might have been an objective. I don't know what he's doing, Sam, there. There's nothing there. Um, so I didn't. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it, but in in, in, the, in the name of moving a bit faster, I'm just what I'm doing. I'm splitting Ali Ramud's command north, and I have moved. I have adjusted things. Oh, <laughs> look at that! I can move into the desert now. Um, let's move into there. So I'm taking Ali Ramon's command north with all the other units. Now he's got this whole ragtag of quite small units. Um, I'm going to sort of split them up so visibly I get a bit of a better idea about what's what. So we're a bit intermixed there. Now down here, I'm pretty much going to win. Um, I'm not sure whether I get the odds against motorized, so I think I'm going to send both units in in command. This should be at least this should, should be a seven to one. I mean he's in hills, so he's doubled, so that's two. But I've got twelve, so that's six to one, plus ten percent outflank. Which is going to be about, it's going to be, a, and, and plus 10% from the leader. Oh, I, can't, I can't do the maths. Um, but, let's just do it. I think I'm going to leave, no, I'm going to leave the artillery, because I'm going to use the artillery to fire on something else. Let's just see what happens. Whoa! Two to one, is that it? Oh, there must be something wrong. Six, twelve, it got up to eight. He was worth eight. Why was he worth so much? He was fortified, wasn't he? One, doubled in the hills. Two, Fortified four. Oh no 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 no! I I I made an even bigger mistake. That was so good they rolled a one. Look at that. I'll I'll, I'll explain what happened there. He's not worth one. He's worth two. So he's two in the hills. Doubled to four. Entrenched. Doubled to eight. Wow. Well, that's an interesting situation. He's not, he's no longer entrenched and he has two depressions. So, as in sort of real life, I'm, I'm not, this isn't a simulation or anything like that, but, you know, the, the, I think each battle is quite significant and, and, and I think you're going to wait until each element is resolved. Now, we're not we're yet to get around to playing the as as the Issel flag as I think the Issel is just gonna basically pull everything back. I mean first move Issel would move this unit would not be there. Um wherever they defend these two hills is something else. Um might do, but the zones of control so I'm not sure you can get there now. Um one of the things to just say is that as I said I'm just not doing the development at the pace I'd like to I will. It's not as I've stopped or anything. It's just it's other things. Um, but basically, when I get irregulars in, irregulars will actually have always a 75% chance of retreating without damage, and they will be able to attack any unit that's less than five at a strength of five. So they couldn't attack these. They, if, they, if this attack this, it'd be one to six plus its 
it's, uh, it's infantry versus armor modifiers. So it would be one to see, you know, he just wouldn't be able to attack that. But I could attack this unit here at five to one because I would be getting the irregular, you know, sort of ambush type sneak attack on that. But in this situation, I could afford to move there because 75% chance I would get a retreat without damage. And that's what I think these irregular troops are good at. Um, that's how to represent them because you could just plonk them on the road and you could really slow and advance down. And if, you know, one in four charge, you take, you take some damage, you, you know, but that doesn't mean you're eliminated or the odds would be quite high. You, you, you could be, but that's what you know. Skirmishers and irregulars that they, they do get eliminated if caught. And I think 75% is a good chance. I'm not going to change that, but it's, that, obviously that's not in play at the moment. So, so that's that sort of part of the turn here. Now I did leave this artillery unit here because I want to fire on this unit. I just want to put the artillery onto there. Let's just see what happens. One to one, an exchange. So that was good. Um, no effect on me. And he's depressed one. Um, these units have all moved. This the separation of command here will become more apparent next turn. Um, the Syrian armor division obviously going to have to deal with this Israel unit down here. He's out of command from there, so that, that's good. But now we've got the um, glory. The um, so let's really pummel this little unit here. Or not. Okay, so there's an error. No air power today. That's going to pain because that's a big one. I'm going to deal with that, but I'm not going to deal with it now. I'm going to pause the game and maybe have a look at the insights. Okay, I don't know why that is, um, but I've got a suspicion that um, it's because of the turn one element. I don't know, it might, it might get the aircraft in turn two. Um, so, let's just end that turn. Now it's the Issel turn. I think, to be quite honest, he doesn't want to leave his unit there. It's 1.2 to move into desert. So he's got 4.8, which gives him another 4 movement. 1. So I'd like to move into this hill here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to leave him there in that hill. The reason I'm doing that is because he's now in command, which gives him a 30% bonus on his defense. So he's not an easy nut to crack there, and it will slow this Syrian advance down. Now, I did think about moving him around this way, one, two, three, four, five, um, but that would be sort of suicidal. It's one of those things you do to sort of annoy us, you know, a sort of. A reasonable strategy. I'm trying to sort of just allow things to play as as, as, as they pass, you know, as you might imagine they would. Um, but there would be supply lines through here. I mean, we don't have supply lines in there, but he could have done that. And you, you know, but I don't think it's that reasonable to to imagine that it would have been. You know, there will be he will be falling back here, and, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to sort of delay. Syrians here in, in, in this bit. 
I'm also going to hold this front and everyone else is going to hold. I mean, I could move these units around. Um, but at, now, for example, this area here is. Um, in fact, I'm going to move this artillery. Into there. The thing about moving them around in these fortresses is that you don't have to, you don't lose your entrenchment. So that's a pretty versatile sort of arrangement um, in that turn. Now let's just try this. Yeah, it's something to do with the first turn. I looked at it. And, so, right. Now the air defence was in, in range in the first place, but it, and that shouldn't be there. I'll have to sort that out. What I'm going to try here is one unit. Three to one. <laughs> oh, I really have to, I just have to go to bed. <laughs> I just have to go to sleep. Uh, that is going to be um, complete. He was, he was, I mean, he was. What did he actually? I don't even know what he rolled, do I? That doesn't say. Three to one. I mean, that was. I don't know. I, I can't remember all the masses on all this, but if that's happening there, this air power is going to blow all this stuff out before anything. Um. Okay, well, let's send some air power on here so we can wipe that one out. Three to one, defend and retreat. Okay, so the air power is, and there's no result, result on that, but he's now depressed three, three disruptions. So let's send some air power down on this unit. Three to one. Is that defender eliminated? It was probably. I should really have the results on this. It's, I have it on the combat, but not on this one. Um, so he's got three disruptions, depressions. So is he. So they're only at 70%. So this air power is really, really quite handy. And I will go for this unit here. One to one. That was one to one. Uh, I see. I wonder because these un this unit would not have been. Would, he would have been in command, so he would have had a much higher defense. But this unit and this unit wouldn't have. So we've we've cleaned out our Al Dawa village. Um, and on this front. So, moving towards So all of these units, this is from the armor division, all of these units are in command and we should be able to take that objective out. But look at that, 15 minutes gone. But as you can see, strategy falling into place nicely. Let's see whether I can bother to do another one. Probably. Okay, so, so what we have there currently is um, 
nice result in the air power here, destroying uh, the XL unit. Every one of those that can be taken out is one less that's going to defend in this fortified area. Um, he's got four movement left. Now this is Russian Special Forces, I think maybe I should have used a Reka unit, but they're basically forward observers uh, spotting for these airstrikes, which is maybe why the airstrike was so good, I'm only joking, it's the thing, the ventilation. So this, this is not a combat unit per se, that's why I've given them very low factors, I'm not going to push them into anything like that, but they've got a lot of movement so much so I'm going to move them back. <laughs> now, I think, okay. Okay. Right, well their depression is two, so their two doubled up to four times 0.8. Just going to be about 3.6 or something, I don't know. So let's just attack them. My artillery in this time. Seven to one. So he was worth. That's interesting. I was worth thirty one point six. Okay. So that was. The armor was probably one point seven. So he would have been about. 10 and he's about 1.5, so he would have been worth 9, so that's 19. He's worth 8, which is 19 plus 8, 27 plus 10%, 3, 27, yeah, plus a surround of 10%. That sort of adds up to about 31, so yeah, I mean, that's that works. 7.1 defender eliminated. So, bit by bit, we're taking things away. So, let's end that turn. Now, the Issel player, uh, can maybe refigure this a little bit to give them some reinforcements because I think that's going to get wiped off maybe too soon. Um, so, maybe give them some reinforcements at the stage where we're going to start pouncing on this, just so that it's a little bit easier to crack. This is going to be a walkover otherwise. Um, historically it took a lot longer, but I think, as I said, the reason for that is not so much militarily. I think they just, well, I think there's a lot of the danger of house-to-house -house combat and fighting, but I think they just don't want to just completely trounce the area. I think, you know, there's an attrition strategy is Possibly going to sort of preserve a lot more of the infrastructure. I'm just making that up, I don't know, but I'm guessing. Um, they certainly didn't sort of steamroller in. We've got a nice little front line here on this Northern Command. So, the question is do we leave them there? And I think not. Although, to be quite honest, they are entrenched and it will force these units to do something a little more than just go straight in this direction. Um, this is Sultan bin Abdul Rahman. And that's another one of his command elements. And there's another one of his command elements. He lost this one, and he lost this one. So his command is down to three units. Uh, I think he's going to give up that position and move into the fortified hex and so is he. He 
speed is going to move there, which puts him in command radius of both of these units. You can see now that this objective has now gone blue, and that's because um, it's now being contested. Um, so if we look at the map, we can see now that it, it is at minus 4. The reason it's at minus 4 is because it had 6 strength points, and the 6 strength strength points on minus 10, plus 6 is minus 4. As soon as it gets to 10, so it's got another 16 to go, so it's another 3 turns, this will be a, um, a green, and it will be a Syrian objective um, captured. I did want to move some of these units, including the air defense and the artillery. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because the artillery will at least be able to start firing. I don't know whether they did have artillery, but I'm giving them some, you know, maybe to reflect rockets and um, mortars. Maybe some things. It's not good. It's not very powerful. But, uh, it gives them something to do. I don't think they would have been sat in there without some indirect fire. Okay. Anything else that I want to do? I can't think. Syrian player. So, I've got to hang around here and take out this objective. Moving on to that. Uh, well, I think what I want to do is consolidate. I don't think he's going to start taking this artillery, although theoretically this artillery should not have that sort of defence. But in this case it does, so it does. Um, let's try air power. Three to one, and exchange. Let's get this guy in the open. Four to one, defender eliminated. <laughs> that serves you right for going out in defences. Okay. I wonder what happens if you try and take out command elements. An exchange. Yeah, he's depressed too. Haven't really worked that far through the system yet. And let's fire on this unit one more time. Just my rolls. An exchange. So that leaves him now down at. Oh, he's leaking. Yeah. An exchange, two exchanges, two depressions. Okay, so the Marines are going to advance into Al Dawa, followed by the special forces. Well, I'm going to stack in with this unit because I don't want to be targeted by this artillery. Fire this artillery into there. Two to one, an exchange. So he should be on three. Three depression, so he's he's being knocked down slowly. I think I'm gonna leave that, leave it at that. So we're in the turn, so all automatically these things now are now contested. As you can see he's gone down from minus ten all the way up to three. So next turn that will be 
pursuing an objective. Um, this one's gone down by nine points, so I could have possibly stuck a few more in there. Um, with ten points, it's not that much, but when you've got a fifty point like the airport, it's usually quite wise to stick in a lot of units. I think this one's sixty points. I think he's going to stay in there, but the commander unit. Well, one, two, three. Is it going to be worth it? I think I'm going to play as I think it should be played. They're now going to retreat, they're falling back onto into Palmyra. They'll probably get struck by the air, airstrike next time and eliminated, which is what happened before. Okay. Okay, so this gives us the opportunity now. Got to fire their artillery. Um, okay, now the thing is, these units are also small. But I'm going to try. If we keep them together, these are Shiite militia. This is the National Defence Force. That's a four. These units into there. So it's giving me a nice sort of line across the northwestern of Palmyra. Now I'm going to leave these units down here to get these objectives. So I've captured this objective now. Um, this one's now contested, and this one will be clear in a turn. Did I forget to do my hair style? <laughs> I can't remember, I need to get a bed. I'm so tired. Three units and then there's fire and artillery on them. Oh, yeah, I probably forgot to give them any range. One of the reasons I play these games is so that I can figure out where these little bugs are because that's quite irritating. All that hoping for the artillery, missile artillery, and it doesn't work. You've got to configure it. Okay, I'll move my command up to there and the mechanized units. Infantry, I'll leave the armor there. I should be able to do that. Yep, I only need two points. I'll start moving this line along a bit. Okay. I like that. Not all in command. Air power, let's go for this. Let's just try everything. Hold on that. One to one and exchange. Well, that's not too bad because now all those units are depressed. That's it. I think that's the, um, that's the end of the Syrian turn.
mainly because I didn't want to practice as much regrouping, reorganizing as I can, and also consolidating these objectives before moving on. Now, one thing that worth saying is the ISWI units did at some point counter strike its forces, and now would be almost a good time to do that, but I'm not going to do it. They did it in a sandstorm. Uh, they weren't successful, but um, it's sort of interesting to think about you know, how, how they might have done that. Um, I do know why the artillery didn't work, and you can't see my finger pointing, but if you look at there, it's unit classification as air defense, not artillery. So <laughs> I've corrected it now, so if anyone plays this, that won't be. Problem, but clearly my artillery is not worth anything. So this one's not going to do anything. Now I think I might give them some reinforcements just for the hell of it because it's not going to be that difficult. Um, I think it needs one or two units to come on on turn five. I think I should be able to do it. Now, they all recovered. It's now controlled. One defender retreats, this is doing again. Four to one defender retreats, do it again. Seven to one defender retreats, I. What's his depression now? Depression nine, he's not going to recover, so let's not waste. So that unit is now knackered. These two look like likely targets. Let's try this one. One to one, no result. Okay. I'm not sure. I think there should be some sort of unsung rule. I can't go past this sort of point because I'm pretty sure that there are probably more useful units in these hills and things like that. It's hard. It's hard to sort of do that in a game because. If there's an issue unit here, you'd, you'd move it and you'd <laughs> anything, you just pull a moment into here. There's got to be some sort of restriction on that, but similarly, there should be a restriction sort of on these units moving in this direction. The, um, the alley of the moon command. Now, I don't want to just launch an attack, I'm just going to sort of sit here and. Um, Just pound them with air power. Now he is he's been hit. I think he really does want to move into fortifications. And the unit below is gonna move into there. So at least we've got all the fortifications done. Um, okay, so now the Syrians can start to mobilize the Major General Suhail al Hassan's command. So this is a big stack. He's got three infantry. Companies in there were six, twelve, eighteen, plus all the other stuff. I did make a mistake on the, um, the commands. The first one is the combat, the second one is morale. I thought it was strength and defense. So 
and the morale factors for combat command doesn't don't work. So their their command units are only at one. I did actually anticipate them being at three. It should really be the other way around, um, but not to worry. I think I'm going to go for this unit again. One to one an exchange. So he's now worth a little bit less. No result. No result. Yeah, that was good. Defend the retreat. So he's down to depression four. I think this is the way to play it. Um, do I have to be careful about how much artillery we actually get? How much air strikes we actually got? Um, now, just as a point of note, this location here was the Palmyra Triangle, which is basically the junction of these roads. Possibly that triangle there, I don't know. Um, but it's now been taken. So we can see the objectives are slowly being taken, pretty much in the same sort of manner that they were historically. Now this unit so this is an objective. Ancient city ruins. Is my no, it's not. Oh, an exchange that was nice. And look at that combat ratios <laughs> exactly the same on both sides. Now, his. Depression is going to start to go down, and that's the way to do this: it's artillery, air power. And this unit out first. They'll slowly have to divide, maybe retreat from here. We just think what they did. This is the uh, fortress, which is a big castle on the top of a hill. So the, um, the 18th Armoured Division is moving into place just south, and we're going to take the Ancient City next. I don't want to engage here. Okay. That's all they're going to do. Let's just look at this air power. I've only got three. I've only got three more turns of the um, of air power left. So it's not in. Ex it's not endless, so I've really got to sort of try and use it carefully. I might go for this hex here. Is it depression A? This is going to be my last video. I'm not going to spend much more time because I'm so tired. Uh,
that was good. So he's now depression three. So I'll send him another airstrike. Exchange, depression four. Depression five, so it's worth half of what it was. And that's a two to one odds. So this one should be, fingers crossed, a DR. That is good. Because that now puts him up to eight. It's pretty, pretty, pretty worthless. Just another little. We don't have morale checks at the moment, but an eight because it's five. Um, five. Anything over five would be would require a morale check. So at six, you'd have a ten percent chance of routing. So eight is basically thirty percent over five. So he would have a thirty percent factor. However. The leader who is in his command actually has three morale, so that would raise his factor up from five to eight, so he wouldn't actually have to check morale. So that's a pretty hefty leader there, uh, although it wasn't what I intended, but that's how morale will work. So these units here are both knackered. You know, I mean, this will recover a little bit, um, but just to sort of help it. On its way, I'll give it a little artillery. Help. Yep, it's, uh, it's knocked him down. That's strange. The artillery forced him to retreat. Um, depression 10, so he's not going to go below 8. Actually, right, so that should not happen, so that's again something else I'll have to look into. That's the artillery, but what I'm actually going to do is take this X here. Seven to one, defender eliminated. Gives me a fortified hex. There's no way Issa is going to get me out of that. Hmm. I think this is okay. But I will close this gap now. The status and we'll want to be running away. I definitely think that he wants to be moving out of that hex there. I haven't got the um, movement into the city thing for command. It's the last minute there, so I'm going to end it there. I'm not going to play anymore. I think it's pretty clear that the Syrian players have taken no losses. They've methodically, in, with air, air support, whittled the ISIS units down. I mean, this last stack might be a bit of a problem, but not really. Um, I think it's sort of pretty much probably how it went. Anyway, um, I think it's interesting, uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to sort of play it all the way through because you know, this is an hour now or video um, I'll have to stitch it all together I uh, hope you enjoy it remember you can play this yourself by joining up and see how you do um, see you later bye